Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And I think this is episode 62. I've recorded so much today and I was just leaving the house and of course I get a notification because I gotta go eat, I'm hungry. And also I wanna swing by uh, House of Secrets and pick up Edge of Venomverse because I think it came in today. So I'm gonna go check that out. And even if it didn't, if they tell me it's another week, it's fine because I'll just go get some food right there. Um, and uh, and I was like just leaving the house and I saw that uh, comicbook.com posted a, a, a some information about when we might see the Venom trailer and I literally just recorded my uh, 61st episode with uh, the, the viewer questions and it was almost 20 minutes long and uh, that's why I don't have a lot of memory left on my phone so I keep this short uh, but uh, I, I, I did that video and I said hey I'm gonna save all the Venom trailer questions for the next video and we'll make a whole video where we speculate when we'll see the trailer and then as soon as I stop recording I get a notification saying uh, some information about it so I'm gonna go pick up food get that comic book hopefully it's in and then we're gonna come back home and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk about uh, what comicbook.com had to say about when we'll see the first Venom trailer. So good news everyone, I went to House of Secrets and luckily they actually had Edge of Venomverse. So they had to order this for me because uh, I think they probably ordered one the week it came out and it sold and so they just, you know, business-wise they were like, oh, we're not going to restock it anytime soon or maybe they didn't sold another one and just hadn't got any more in. But when I went in and asked for it last week, they were like, yeah, give us about a week and it should come in. And thankfully it came in and I was able to pick it up. And not only that, but the guy there, he actually gave me 20% off, which was really nice and totally unnecessary. Uh, I was saving literally a $20 bill for this for probably the past week and a half now, um, you know, ready to buy it when it came in. So uh, I was happy to contribute something to the store because I knew that this week I was going to go to Golden Apple and pick up books there because I, I had like a couple books I needed to get and clear out my pull box. Um, so I was like, well, I want to spend a few dollars over at uh, House of Secrets also. So I was happy to support, even though they had this at Golden Apple and the digital copies only $2. But I was like, well, I need the physical one and I already ordered it from the other store and I'm going to stick by that and uh, and go buy it over there. So uh, comicbook.com, uh, I have it pulled up on my Kindle here. Uh, Right, right when I finished recording a couple videos earlier, I did a couple uh, videos for next week for Carnage Week and stuff like that. And I, I recorded like another music uh, thing for music, uh, talking about music and a band I love. And uh, right when I finished, uh, I'm about to leave to go get food and I get a text from, uh, or I get a message from Venom Gaming. And he's like, sends me this link to comicbook.com. And he's like, dude, we may get the trailer or a teaser or something sooner than we think. So, uh, comicbook.com Matthew Mueller who is the uh, the writer of this article so big shout out to Matthew thank you for doing what you do thanks for bringing this information to us uh, nothing super confirmed but he does have some good evidence on here of uh, of uh, to back up his his theory and, and what he's writing about uh, a lot of times when you submit a trailer and you're like we want to release a trailer at some point uh, you you have to get it rated so that way the rating boards knows where to put it like in front of what TV shows at what hour of the day is it good for uh, in front of what movies that kind of thing and it got a classification of PG, and this was on January 2nd of this year. So this is a couple weeks ago, oh, a month ago now. And uh, they got uh, they got classified on that date of uh, a PG rating. So it can go on in front of pretty much anything, which means it's probably like um, not too intense. They uh, a lot of times trailers, it's, it's a tricky thing. A lot of you guys ask me, hey, when do trailers normally come out? And, you know, when a movies, you know, um, during a movie's production. It's all over the place. Some movies are still filming, and they and they get their um, trailer that goes out, like a teaser trailer goes out there, like a 90 second trailer uh, might release to tease the movie, even while they're still filming, or they before they've done reshoots. I mean, we know that with Justice League, the movie wasn't even finished filming or editing, and and that's just the that's what they do. They have a different company, like a trailer house or someone who does this for a living, and and you know tries to cater your footage that that they give you know that the company gives to the um, the editors they're like here's the footage we have turn this and this is the audience we're trying to go for like this is what we want to set how we want to sell our movie but we want you guys to put your creative spin on it too and so a lot of times that's what happens and these trailers get out there and sometimes it's while the movie's being filmed for a teaser sometimes it's a couple weeks after a month after sometimes it's a while after there's it changes with every movie every production is different uh, depending on how much money they have behind it depending on um you know, interest uh, or, or, or their production schedule, or they want to make sure they don't market it at the same time as something similar that another company's doing or they're doing. So it's it's all about timing and everything. And sometimes you're going to get it wrong. Sometimes it's not going to work out. Sometimes you're going to take an opening where you, you just get it and it's not the perfect way to market it, but it's just like, hey, that's the opening we had, so we got to go for it. So um, it's interesting to see. And normally after you get something classified, you know, you got maybe like two months from the date it's classified and you might see something out there. So 
they're positing, Matthew's positing on here uh, on his article that we may um, see it in two weeks. And everything Matthew says, I'm not going to read it verbatim. He worked hard on this article, like a lot of people we quote from. So I'm just going to put the link to comicbook.com and Matthew's article down below. You can read all about it. Uh, so check that out. And big shout out again to Venom, Venom Gaming for sending us this link. Uh, and uh, and yeah, this uh, so this trailer, if, it, if we see it in two weeks, is that possible? And I, I guess it is. It'll be a super teaser. It'll be like uh, the the New Mutants, the first teaser for that one. Because they're still reshooting that movie. They're still adding stuff to it. So uh, that movie's not even done fully. And uh, and there's they released a teaser for it. Um, that first teaser didn't really show much. It kind of gave you a brief sense of the story. People in an insane asylum, and they're not really insane. They're actually mutants. And you kind of gather pieces like that. I feel like that's what we'll get for this first Venom thing. Because for me, I feel like a, a real full trailer probably is not going to happen until like April or May. Um, you know, May's Venom's 30th anniversary, but at the end of April is Avengers Infinity War. That's a huge movie to put your trailer in front of would be a good thing for them, especially with Spider-Man in that movie. I think a lot of people you could put on your trailer, Spider-Man's greatest enemy gets his own film or, you know, something along those lines. Because, you know, again, remember when they make these trailers, sometimes they're not marketing them to us. Like, you know, some of these trailers may bum us out. That's just how it is. They're making these trailers for the everyday person, the person out there who doesn't know that, you know, like Venom is Spider-Man's greatest enemy, or they just have like a, a basic knowledge of that. And they see the trailer and they go, oh, they're making a full Venom movie? Like people who have no idea this movie's in the making. That's what trailers are for. They're, it's to get them. They already know they have our money, so they're not going to cater to us too, too much. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to go after the people that are, don't know about the movie or are on the fence about the movie and so it's going to kind of cater to that uh, audience typically and uh, that's fine that's the job of the trailers to do that so and you know we may see it in two weeks in front of black panther because that's when two weeks from now that's what comicbook.com is like oh it might happen in two weeks it may be longer than that i don't know um but uh but yeah, I think that's it's interesting. It's not. I don't think it's too soon because, like I said, it'll probably just be a teaser, and then they'll just go like, "Hey, we just finished the design of Venom, like the CGI version. No one's seen it yet, but we can't. We haven't put it in every shot, obviously. But maybe we can take these two shots and add the symbiote here, and then end the trailer with a silhouette of Venom like standing up, and you see the, like his size or something. And it won't be finished CG, but it'll be as good as we can make it look. And um, and that's enough, you know, I think that'll be enough for a teaser. Uh, so that way they can just show some of the footage they showed of like Tom Hardy on the motorcycle getting, you know, chased and him falling out of his uh, apartment window and hitting the ground and then like, you know, healing or something and getting back up and limping away. There's all these things they could show that they did film and have been sitting in an edit bay for a while and being rendered and being, you know, um, improved on and, you know, the look of it being fixed and tweaked. Um, so they probably have enough to do a 90 second teaser for sure. Uh, and then they'll just have to like hustle on getting the CG done for like two shots in the tra in the teaser trailer and then save the big payload for Comic-Con. Comic-Con would be a good place to release the trailer if you m miss out on um, uh, the Infinity War movie. But uh, I would think Infinity War is a good place and I would think Comic-Con is another good place to get more information and more news out of uh, as well. So, uh, and Sony does have a history with promoting Resident Evil at WonderCon and WonderCon's coming up at the end of March. So uh, I was thinking about going for a day because I'm kind of hoping Sony does something there with Venom. And even if it's something small or like hands out the first poster, just something simple like that, um, I'm going to keep an eye out. And if so, I'll buy a ticket and I'll try to go for you guys and, and vlog the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Venom Gaming uh, for sending me this link. Matthew Mueller over at comicbook.com. Thank you for writing this article. Uh, gets us talking, gets us to have something to talk about in this episode for episode uh, 62 here. So thank you. Uh, if you guys, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this? You think we'll see it in two weeks uh, for a teaser? You think it'll be a little bit longer? You think, what do you think about it being in front of Infinity War? What do you think of Comic-Con announcements? You know, what, what, what are your thoughts on this? Because you know mine. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See you in the future. Peace.